Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that's okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche. All right, guys. Let's see what we got going on in the end of J. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this reading going to be for? What zodiac sign reading is this going to be for today? Aries. Have I done Aries yet? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I'm back. All right. So I haven't done Aries yet. Aries, this is your reading. Okay. Let's see if we get a number for you guys. Let's see what we got going on for the Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Or you can be cross watching for the Aries. All right, so we have number 12. So something here about the number 12 is very significant for some of you. Someone here could be a life path three, don't have to be. Um, you guys could be seeing the angel number three through three a lot. I also feel like you guys could be seeing 12, 12. There's definitely something here completing. Something here is in completion. Something here about a cycle. A cycle is completing. Okay, Aries. You know what else I'm feeling, Aries? Something here about November 7th, okay, is significant for some of you. The first week of November is going to be significant for you. Maybe that's when there's going to be some form of change or ending or something here. I don't know if it's positive or negative, but it is going to require you to grow in some way, All right? You know what else I'm feeling like, Aries? Someone keeps listening to what you're talking about. Like someone keeps... <sighs> I said that weird, but it's like, it's like, it's not that. It's like someone keeps like paying extra attention to like what you're saying but they don't have the best intentions for why they're paying attention to what you're saying it's like someone's hyper focused on like maybe trying to twist your words or something i don't know something like that is going on be mindful of what you communicate at this time okay with a certain individual or certain people around you that you just don't have a good vibe with. Like, you just don't have a good, um, yeah, we have Uranus or Uranus. Expect the unexpected. Something is going to be happening here. Something here is definitely going to be changing. All right. I feel like what might be happening here, Aries, if you're on the right side of right, okay, you're going to be having some sort of positive new beginning here. That's what the change could be. And maybe you're going to have other people around you that are not going to like this change. Um, I also feel like something's going to be a surprise. Some, some, some sort of surprise might be coming towards you. And like I said before, it's something here is going to require you to like grow or something, do something for growth. Maybe they're, you're going to be called to like do something brave or to be brave. Or someone didn't expect you to be brave. Maybe you decided to do something, you know. Maybe somebody didn't. Someone here underestimated you is what it feel like to me. We have fifth house here. Okay, you guys could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius. Don't have to be. I'm also getting Aries. You might discover that you have some sort of creative talent here. Maybe you're going to showcase this creative talent here soon, okay? Or maybe you need to. 
I'm also getting like, you might be running into some sort of unexpected love affair. Is what this is looking like too. You might get your heart, you know, get your heart jumping. Is what it feels like to me. Yeah, Aries. Okay. Something's going to make you very enthusiastic here soon. Something's going to put like a pep in your step, Aries. Something you're about to encounter or someone you're about to encounter. We have dragon, okay? So something here about this year could be very significant. Someone here could be viewing you as someone who's very intelligent and very glamorous. I'm also kind of getting like, you might be running into someone, like meeting somebody unexpectedly that is very intelligent very glamorous very enthusiastic like this could be someone who's matching you like they match your energy something's a match okay or you're about to run into some sort of unexpected fortune is what it feels like to me aries something here about the first week of november we have snake someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the snake this could be you or someone else all right, you guys could be meeting someone here who's going to be very charming, very intuitive, very sensual. For some of y'all, somebody here, going, or this is your characteristics. Um, somebody here is going to be real jealous, okay, of you. Or you might be very suspicious of this person because of their charm, okay? Don't let that block this love or whatever this is, okay? Because I don't feel like this is like a past person. I feel like this is like a surprise meeting. Okay, Aries? We have goat. Someone here can have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. This could be you or somebody else. There's a lot of Chinese zodiac signs out here. And then we have ninth house at the bottom of the deck. You and another person share the same vision or something. Or you guys are both in the know when it comes to something. Like you guys have the same type of beliefs or um, the same type of like knowledge interests you both. I don't know, but you're about to get some sort of lucky, you're about to get a lucky break here, Aries. That's what it looks like, especially when it comes in, comes with your second house. Someone here could be 29 years old, don't have to be. Or this fortune is going to last between now to the to year 2029 for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, let's get into it. So something here about a great fortune. It's 2.27 on the clock. Number 12 is out here. Number 12. Yeah, there's an ending of a relationship here. Or the cycle of dealing with like unhealthy toxic relationships that cycle is done or a cycle with a toxic individual family member business friend that you were dealing with that cycle is done it's over okay or someone is going to finally realize that a relationship with you and them is completely done okay something's gonna be finalized once you meet this new person i guess we have passion ignited okay use your intuition when it comes to this this new beginning here yeah we got movement choices and decisions so you're going to be met with some sort of decision here okay mm. these came out in reverse um Someone here could be 39 years old or born in 1993, don't have to be, or 91, 92. Someone here could be 31 or 32. Um, there's someone here that wants you to get out of solitude. Maybe this is somebody here that's going to put you in a situation where they want you to like um, hang out with them or something like this. But this is someone here that doesn't, they're not doing so hot. This is someone who's in, who's the Empress in reverse, okay? They're not really attracting what they're wanting to attract at this time. They're not feeling very abundant. 
this could be someone who's feeling very insecure or something. They're lacking some form of creativity or something like this. This also could be somebody here who's having a hard time looking within. Or you guys could be dealing with someone who has a hard time self-reflecting on who they are or certain actions that they take. The bottom of the deck, we got suffering in silence. What the hell is going on, Aries? Suffering silence. Cur oh, okay. Love. Okay, so this is okay. So we're reading the energy of somebody here who wants to unexpectedly, unexpectedly pop up on you and you know express how they feel about you. But this person's lacking some form of courage to come in and offer you an Ace of Cups. Okay, um, confirmation. This person is like just sitting there suffering in their own head. They're trying to find the strength to come in. I don't know. Why does Emperor's in reverse? Why would, okay, why we got uh, passionate and ignited? There's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Okay, so somebody, okay. No communication. Whoever this person is, you're not communicating with. So you got a prosperous new beginning here. Okay, whatever uh, decision and choice that you've made already in the past, it's causing you to, you know, see results. You're moving forward. Okay. This could be making someone else look stupid or losing some sort of credibility. Solitude. Yeah. Some sort of spell here backfired or some sort of rumor or lie has been exposed because of whatever your whatever is going on in your life. It's proving whatever someone was saying about you wrong is what it feels like to me. Maybe someone was putting a spell on you so that you wouldn't be able to like um, see something clearly and make the right decision. That's all it looks like to me. Someone here wanted you to be unsure about something. I also feel like somebody here made it they did some sort of spell here <clears throat> to get you to stay in solitude or something like this and that spell has backfired as well maybe someone was doing some sort of isolation isolation spells on you or something and you're breaking free from this or this is an individual here i don't know you're going to be meeting someone here soon unexpectedly and this for some of you this could be a family lover business x or something like this that has been trying their best to stop your your progress forward in life um especially when it comes to your love life like someone's been trying to do spells to keep you isolated or something like this something here that they've been trying to cover up is no longer going to be covered why do we have uh, fertility in reverse we have detective so someone's realizing something here Someone is figuring someone that someone's realizing that somebody here is an Empress in reverse. What do you have? And whatever someone was saying when they weren't serious about something. And now somebody's scared. Okay, we have black sheep. Okay, so you could be the black sheep in the family. Or someone here was trying to uh, ostracize you, ostracize you in some way. We have I'm scared. So someone here could be scared. Someone's scared because there's some sort of evidence that has been found, proving that some sort of lie is wrong. We gotta trust your gut. Why am I suffering in silence? Maybe someone was told that you're an empress in reverse or something like this, and now they're realizing that wasn't true. We have history repeating. So I don't know. Boundaries crossed. Somebody did something they weren't supposed to. Somebody could have been looking into something they weren't supposed to look into. When it comes to you, maybe someone was looking through like your medical records or something, but they didn't have the clearance or the authority to do so. Maybe this is all going to be discovered or maybe it has been discovered. Maybe they've been trying to cover this up so that people don't know that how far somebody went to do something to you to keep you isolated, to block your forward movement. Maybe because there's a whole lot of money that's involved in this situation. Maybe that's what this great fortune is. Maybe you're about to find out about this. I'm also getting maybe somebody here was did a spell so that they could be they could be um, not suspected for something. Or uh, maybe someone did a spell so that they could uh, cloak themselves in some way so people wouldn't know, you know, 
that they were the ones behind doing something, whether this is in the spiritual realm or in the 3D. And somebody here has been discovered. They have been found. And whoever this person is, is an, is an empress in reverse. This is a woman who's lacking. For some of y'all, this could be a karmic mother figure. This person could be a Virgo. They could be a Taurus. They could be a Libra. Your mother, someone else's mother. Your sister who has children. She's a mother. Flip over where he needs to go, okay? Somebody here who's a mother... Who has some children or something. Don't have to be though. This definitely could be somebody in your family. Whatever it is, it's going to be... Um, it's going to lead you to having some sort of... Unexpected income, child. This is going to make you joyful. But it's also going to make somebody jealous and, and hateful. Someone's jealous and hateful towards you because they have to be honest about something. Someone's mad at you because they have to be honest about something. Aries. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? So something here about someone's occupation is of significance. Maybe there's a doctor here that did something they weren't supposed to do. Um, released some sort of information they weren't supposed to release or something like that. We have, um, and then they try to cover it up or something like this. We have protection. Whoever you are, you're protected. I also feel like your occupation is protected. Maybe someone here was trying to go after your occupation, trying to block you and stop you or something like this. This could have been a wealthy individual who was trying to block and stop you. Or you have a wealthy individual that is protecting you or something and your occupation. Okay, tell me more. Something here about your house is significant or a house or your stability is protected because you're on your destined path. We have pathway here. Yeah, you all your chakras are in alignment. So whatever someone because every because you are in alignment. Divine order is taking place. The truth has to be revealed and somebody here is scared. Yeah, somebody here could be sick as hell. Health concern. Someone here could be sick, feeling ill. Okay, or maybe this is what they wanted you to feel like. Maybe someone's trying to get you sick so that you would not show up for work or not go to work. Or it could disrupt your occupation in some way. Okay, or somebody could have altered some form of like medical documents claiming that you have a health concern when you did not. And maybe that is... Could have been covered up and now it's going to be revealed. And somebody's scared about this being revealed. Because maybe they have the, a job on the line. Maybe someone here is at risk of losing their job. Or a license. We have bliss. Yeah, you're protected because you deserve to have bliss. Something here about a boss or a manager could be involved in this situation as well. We have a relationship or you're a boss or a manager. Listen. I feel like whoever was involved in trying to block your forward movement... They're either going to discover some sort of health concern or some sort of occupation loss or something because they try to get in the middle of your bliss, your new beginning, this new relationship here, your stability. Someone here is now concerned about this. They're concerned about you still being on the, on the right path, you still following your destiny. We have the veil. <clears throat> Somebody don't want to be seen. Somebody doesn't want people to know who they is. Someone here can't hide no more. Or someone here was trying to veil you. Trying to keep you behind the curtains. Isolated. So people will see you in a different way, Divine Feminine. Okay? You're about to receive some sort of achievement here. Whether this is in the spiritual, the 3D, or both. You're going to have a lot of people shocked about this. Or you might be getting shocked by this. Because somebody going to prison. Maybe somebody stole a gift from you since you was a child. This person could be an air sign. This person could be a Libra that stole this from you. Or you're a Libra. Flip it where it needs to go. This person could be a Libra, Aries. Not Aries. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You're going to find out about some sort of lies. Some sort of false narrative someone was spreading about you. And claiming it was truth. Okay, for some of y'all, there could be a detective that has basically 
did the proper digging to figure out if some sort of false narrative was true about you whether this was to check if you really did have some sort of health concern to to check if it was true to check if you truly were living where you live or something i don't know what this is okay child or your occupation checking your occupation someone here could have been doing a lot of rituals on the courthouse or the people who work at the courthouse are doing this on a detective who was digging to figure out the truth when it comes to these false narr narratives behind or about you i mean um somebody here could have passed away maybe you don't you're not aware of this aries maybe you're about to find out about this or something here is going to end some sort of magic could have ended spell backfired People are now seeing through some sort of illusions or lies that were made about you. Some sort of false claims that were made about you in court about Divine Feminine. Ciao. You about to get something really good here. Ciao. Somebody real concerned. They real concerned, Aries. So, someone can no longer cover something up. They can no longer sweep something under the rug. Okay. Something's been something's gonna be coming in here. Okay. Why do we have a concern? Some sort of message is gonna be coming towards you. We have eight of pentacles. Someone's concerned about your ability to make money? The eight of pentacles, or someone's worried about their own fucking job. Eight of pentacles. Someone here could be worried about who they worked with. To come up against you because they're all they're linked to something illegal whatever it is maybe someone already got questioned or got caught it's a tower moment happening some sort of cover cover up is being blown or somebody here could have lost their occupation i don't know because of what they get yeah, the seven of swords somebody used somebody here worked with somebody to seven of swords you to betray you to steal from you to, to see to get away with something whatever it is this is the false person that did this. Ciao. They get an exposed. This false person is very much concerned, Aries. Somebody just doesn't want you to be happy. You guys could be seeing a lot of rainbows. Okay. You guys could be seeing a lot of rainbows. You're about to be redeemed or you're about to get some sort of redemption or... You're about to have your name cleared here. Okay, who the hell is this false person? Can we please get a clue? Can we get a clue? This person's gonna have blue eyes. Who's this false person? Or this is you. It's living where it needs to go. Not your mama, not your daddy. Who is this false person? This false person could be a 70s baby. This could be you or them. Who is this false person? Spirit? Can we get a clue? We have blue collar worker. This person could be a blue collar worker. They could work with their hands. This could be a plumber, a carpenter. A construction worker, um, somebody. What are you looking for? We have a uh, Pisces. This false person could be a Pisces, or this false person is being seen as a lie. Why you always lying? We got Middle Eastern. This person could be Middle Eastern. Okay, tell me more. Who this false person? Or you are? We have sexual. This person could be hypersexual. Person gonna be a baby boomer, okay? Who this false person who tried to steal some shit? This person could have olive skin who was out here trying to steal some shit, or did we have blonde? This person could be blonde, and somebody here could be a police officer, a detective, somebody, security guard. There's some people involved in here, and they're scared about their job being at risk. Can we get some more clues about who this false person is? This false person could be somebody that you once were in a long-term relationship with. Who this false person? This false person could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Who's this false person? Or it could be somebody's father or baby father or ex-boss. We have our current boss. We have a, uh, Aquarius. Sorry. We have Aquarius. This false person could be an Aquarius. This false person could be a Libra. This false person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the pig okay who this false person can get a clue baby boo this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the monkey and then we have virgo at the bottom of the deck this person could be um this false person could be a virgo or you could have virgo somewhere in your chart whoever this person is 
at least one of these people, they share the same DNA as you because my freaking hair kept the same piece that I had on the table that I kept moving, kept coming back. So yeah, this is somebody in your, from, this is somebody that you share the same, D, the same DNA with, okay? That can't seem to stop being in your life and fucking with it or something. Like somebody here, just, I don't know. Tell me more about this concern. Somebody is so concerned because they're about to have some legal issues. That's why. Because they were out here in the Five of Swords energy, willing to win at all costs. This is why somebody concerned because they're getting caught up. <laughs> yeah, this person being exposed for being fucking weird, being obsessive on your energy. Like, what's going on with Aries? What's happening? <laughs> That's what's happening. Okay. This is somebody you had a karmic connection with. Family, lover, business, friend. Okay, for sure. Or it's all three of them. It's all of them. All the categories involved. Because there was a lot of people that came out, okay? Someone's concerned. I'm also getting like someone's concerned because like you still have a job. I don't know if I don't know what that means. Like I don't know what that's about. Like why does someone so worried about you being in a relationship? Why are they so worried about your health? Why are they so worried about your occupation? Like they were trying to put a death to all those things, I guess, and I they're upset because they nothing happened. Let me see what the hell is going on, child. What have I got Belonging. Someone's upset because you, people accept you for what you do for work. Maybe someone's trying to get someone to make you feel like you don't belong at your job or something. Yeah, somebody angry because people accept you for who you are and you're being exactly who you are. You, you okay? Aries, you have accepted exactly who you are and why you're here, and you're out living your life. Somebody here is upset that you accept yourself and they're also upset that other people accept you as well. Because someone is so used to you being the black sheep. The oddball out. The one everyone points and laughs at. The one everyone uses as a punching bag. The one that everyone blames everything on. But that's no more. The cycle of that is no more. And somebody is so fucking pissed. Roar! <laughs> Someone is so pissed. Oh well. And? Someone's also mad because they can't sex you up. I wanna sex you up. That's what it looked like. Somebody wants to sex you up. Or someone's angry at the thought that, you know, someone is going to be sexing you up. Okay? This could be a karmic of yours. A karmic ex of yours that does not want you to be touched by another person other than them. This is a psycho. You're dealing with a psycho. What's up with these spells? What kind of spells were these weirdos using on my beautiful Aries? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need here at this time for the highest good? Listen, the beginning of this week, this, this week, the beginning of this read. So something about the beginning of this week is going to be significant. Okay, so when is that? So on the 28th, on Monday, is going to be significant for some of y'all. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Um, but that's not what I was going to say. Okay, I was trying to say at the beginning of this read. Um, it felt like something was like blocking me from like tapping into this energy. Okay, Aries? So I feel like whatever you... Whatever blockages this person could be trying to, you know put in front of you just know that those blockages are being removed all right they're being removed baby boo do not allow this person back into your life either because i feel like they're gonna attempt to try to be in your life one way or another they're gonna try to get your attention one way or another they're gonna make sure you see them and talk to them or something like that okay so just be mindful of that what's going on what do they need to hear this time we have completion. Yeah, something here has been completed. It says the energy work done against you is done. It's over. The spell has been broken, baby. Boo. Spell's been broken. It's nothing they can do but boo hoo. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. What else do they need to hear? Shire. What do they need to hear? Okay, so we have love attacks. It says someone is attacking your love relationships. They want to disrupt all areas of your love life. 
um, your platonic and romantic life. They want to attack it all. They were trying to isolate you, Aries. This is what their spell was. They didn't want no platonic relationships, no romantic relationships in your life, no nobody to love you. That's what this this is what this person did or people did. That spell has broken. So, if you guys have been feeling like you just wanted to be in her hermit mode, it's time to like actively make an effort to go outside. And if you're somebody who's already going outside and this doesn't resonate, then ignore me. Let me speak to Betty in the back. Okay? Frank over there. Let me talk to them. Okay? We have your reversal magic. It says someone who has done magic work on you is now working to reverse the magic to right or wrong. So somebody knows that they were, they were wrong for doing whatever they did to you. Maybe somebody here thought that like... I don't know. Who knows what they thought? I don't, I don't even care to know. We have protection. It says you were protected. What they have planned for you will not work. So whatever someone has planned for you, just know you protected, baby. There's nothing this weirdo can do. They have, they're going to have legal issues for coming for you. What else do they need to know, spirit? What else do my Aries need to know regarding this situation? What else do my Aries need to know? So maybe somebody broke up because in the beginning of the read i saw the death card and the relationship card so maybe somebody here trying to do love attacks on your relationships to keep you isolated has backfired and caused this person to have problems in their relationship and that's why they're trying to reverse some uh the magic that they sent to you we have big mad bitch says they can't understand how you were favored and it's eating at them so someone here cannot stand how you're favored by the most high favor ain't fair we have mental breakdown it says they're losing it without your energy so somebody is losing their mind this is why someone is willing to do anything they can to get into your energy whether that's good in a good way or a bad way they don't care five 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 expect the unexpected it says changes some Something positive is on its way towards you. So something something beautiful is coming in. Yeah, we got 333. Three, three. It says, guardians are by your side to assist you at this time, okay? They're, they're by your side. Don't lose faith. Man, that's a lot. We have 1111. You guys could be seeing this number. You guys could also be going through another spiritual awakening or another like energetic upgrade. And then we have dark magic shit. It says, cursing or hexing. So someone here has definitely been hexing you or cursing you or something like this. But that's been backfiring, okay? And now this person is having a mental breakdown. We have scam artists. It says, they take advantage of weaknesses. So someone here could have definitely been taking advantage um of your vulnerabilities maybe you explain to this person that you felt vulnerable about something and they've been um taking advantage of that or um i don't know they've been doing something we have guard up it says put up boundaries if you are going to keep them around so if this like i said be mindful of allowing this person to be back into your life like I said in the beginning of the reading, this person might come towards you and like ask you to hang out with them or whatever it is. You need to be careful. You need to keep your boundaries up with this person. I mean, if you want to, you can hang out with this person or entertain this person or allow this person to be back in your life. But ah, nah, I wouldn't let a snake back in my garden, but that's just me. You can call me mean. I don't care. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else they need to hear? So someone paid someone to watch you. Ew, okay. So like I said before, someone someone is paying very extra attention to like maybe what you're saying or what you're doing. I don't know. I don't know. Let me keep going. What the heck is going on, Spirit? Maybe someone hired a private a private investigator against you or something to follow you. Yeah, we got hire a lawyer. Someone here is definitely going to need to hire a lawyer. Okay? Or maybe you are Aries. Okay? Tell me more. We have water sign. A water sign may need to hire a lawyer. Okay? Or you may, to, you may need to hire a lawyer against a water sign. We have Edgar Allan Poe and then we have Gullible. 
So you have someone here who was obsessed with ending something in your life, whether it was your love relationships, your platonic relationships, your occupation, your ability to make finances or to be stable. Um, someone here was trying to end something, your health, your good health. Someone was hoping they would be able to do this, okay? If they could outsmart you or, or trick you in some way, but you're not gullible. This person was obsessed. Tell me more, spirit. We have a new apartment. Something here about a new apartment could be of significance. Maybe you live in a new apartment. Maybe you recently moved. Or maybe you might be moving here soon. Or maybe there's a water sign that got a new apartment near you. Okay? We have a newborn to three-year-old. You guys could be dealing... Uh, or you guys could have a newborn to a three-year-old. Or someone in this situation has a newborn or a three-year-old. We have fake friend something here about a fake friend could be involved in this situation someone here could be attacking you because you make them feel small okay maybe this water sign feels like you made them feel small so they've been coming after you i don't know it says i drove by your house the other day so if you guys recently moved to a new apartment somebody here could be or a new home whatever it is um a new residence someone here could be driving by your new residence like a like a creepo we have gemini tourist cusp Okay, this could be somebody that you need to hire a lawyer with or uh, against or something. Or there could be a Gemini Taurus Cups that has a new a newborn or a three-year-old. We have um, case has closed. So somebody here could have been trying to put a case against you with false accusations, trying to cover up the truth to make you look like you're guilty of something or to make you look like you did something you didn't do. That, that case has closed, okay? And someone here could be mad about that. We have karma's a bitch. Someone here getting that karma, they getting that ass whooped. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's that karma? They getting their ass whooped how? It just says karma's kitchen, being held accountable for all actions. That's what's going on with this person or these people. This karma's being served hot right now. Okay? Everything is being uncovered, especially their actions. This person is now going to be attracting some form of attention, but it's not good attention. Tell me more. We have attacks. This person could be experiencing a spiritual, verbal, or physical attacks. Um, this person may be getting stalked, gang stalked, or this is what they were doing to you. And now this is what they may be experiencing. They could be experiencing aggression from others. We have dreams come true. It says watching you live happily ever after. Witnessing you moving on. This is their karma. They didn't want you to move on. This person cannot handle thinking about you laying down with someone else. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. But it's not it's not your problem. It's your it's your right to have joy in your world. You deserve to have joy. You deserve to have a blissful new beginning. You deserve to have a true love. Okay? Tell me more, Spirit. What else is going on? Okay, weight gain. Someone here could have been trying to get you to be um, a fatty, fatty 2 by 4 Can't fit through the kitchen door. Or something. That's what it seemed like to me. Alright? Or this is somebody here who doesn't like their body. Whether they're large or they're small. And they wanted you to be another size that you're not. Whatever that may be. Who knows? All I know is that this person, their ego is about to be is about to be hurt if it ain't already. Okay? They're about to have a big ego blow. We have alienation. It says pushing others away, miscommunication, delusional, irritable, jaded outlook, bad attitude arguments misunderstandings lowered frequencies somebody here wanted you to be someone out here with a badass attitude or they wanted other people to look at you as someone who has a bad attitude in order to keep people away from you okay somebody wanted you to be walking around with that rest and bitch face wanting people to feel like you're unapproachable i don't know something like that okay but um yeah People are going to start leaving this person out in the cold or people are starting to ignore this person or this person is about to lose some form of support, which is exactly what they were trying to do to you. So karma is being served. 
the way it should be tell me more spirit what's going on what else they need to hear what else they need to hear okay so we have codependent co-worker so for some of y'all you have a codependent co-worker that is driving by your house gross we have tinder date could be of significance maybe you went on a tinder date with somebody and now you need to <laughs> oh that's scary now you need to hire a lawyer against this person because they're stalking you it says someone is secretly in love with you so you got someone here who's secretly in love with you or maybe you recently went on a date and maybe this date is filling you i don't know i don't know what you do tell me more spirit what's happening we have life-threatening illness. Okay, so there's a water sign here that could have a life-threatening illness or they were trying to get you to have a life-threatening illness or there could have been a water sign saying that you have a life-threatening illness because you made them feel small so they wanted you to feel small. This could have been someone going around telling people you have AIDS or something. You have HIV so that no one would want to sleep with you or ask you out on a date because they don't want to have AIDS or something. Something like that. This could be your sister that did this or something here about your sister and your grandpa. We have grandpa. We have sister. Ciao. We have manifestation mode 369, baby boo. You out here manifesting. Okay. Someone here doesn't want you to manifest. Someone's trying to check to see if your manifestation has come in as well. Maybe that's why someone's driving by your house. We have raid. Someone here might be getting raided. Maybe that's why you need to hire a lawyer. We have someone or someone else needs to. Okay. Maybe they're going to get raided. It says someone you blocked confirmation someone you blocked will try to reach out to you so okay and then we have sending in false reports or complaints on you or, or your business or your residence okay someone was just trying to make your life a living hell trying to bother you trying to just dis disrupt your peace we have lawsuit there's a lawsuit here that you may be able to take out on a water sign something here about pills maybe someone uh, takes a lot of pills or something here or we have bisexual. Someone here could be bisexual. This could be you or them. Flip where it needs to go. Or this could be this codependent co-worker is bisexual. This person could be very envious of you. And then we have case going to trial. Okay. All right. So there's some sort of case going to trial. We have freckles. Okay. So someone here could have freckles. This could be you or someone else. We have reminder. It says you are never alone. Your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team, God is always around you okay maybe somebody here who's bisexual may have contracted some sort of life-threatening disease or std and they were planning on coming towards you to give it to you maybe you're going to find out about this maybe a codependent co-worker knows about this maybe someone did this to be envious or i don't know we got listen linda pay attention child tell me more what's happening yeah, there's a private investigator. I felt that. There's a, there's a private investigator that you may be able to put a lawsuit against maybe. Or there's a private investigator that may tell you something that could lead to uh, some sort of lawsuit that you can take out on someone. I don't know. We got criminals. Someone here could be a criminal. This could be you or someone else or someone who's trying to make you look like a criminal. We have fickle person. This envious person could be a very fickle person. DNA found. Something here about some sort of DNA is of significance. Maybe someone here could have placed your DNA somewhere. Maybe someone could have took a piece of your hair and put it at some sort of crime scene that you never were at. Who knows? Maybe someone was trying to frame you for some shit because they're envious of you. It says don't eat the spaghetti. Someone here could have been trying to put some sort of blood or some sort of bodily bodily fluids inside of your food or drink so that you could contract some sort of life-threatening illness. We have Libra. So you're about to get some sort of justice or you're about to get some sort of truth here about a codependent co-worker. Um, this person could be a criminal. They could be bisexual. Okay, they could be driving by your house. Um, I don't know. We have energy drainer. Somebody here is an energy drainer that you're dealing with. Ay, 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 ay. You're being advised to drink more water at this time. Something here about sacrificing kitty cats. Someone here could be um, sacrificing either its cats or any other animal. Okay. They've been doing this to get to get the outcome that they want when it comes to some sort of court or something like that. Someone here has some very cruel intentions for you. But whatever it is, it backfired. It didn't work. And now somebody mad. Yeah, these rumors and lies. The truth about some sort of rumors or lies are going to be coming out. For a lot of y'all, this could have been a Libra that was lying on you. Okay, don't have to be, but flip it where I need to go. 
we got zero 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 you're about to have a great reset you're about to have a new beginning and there's nothing that they can do about it we have energy drainer there's nothing this energy drainer can do about your new beginning your great reset okay they can suck it okay bye bye all right aries let's see what else what else do we need to know regarding this situation for my aries what else do we need to know when it comes to this situation spirit when it comes to my aries what do we need to know okay okay we have misery loves company so you're dealing with somebody who hates their life so they want they wanted your they wanted you to hate yours but they were manufacturing things around you in order for you to not be at peace so that you could hate your life putting in false complaints at at your job trying to get you fired trying to get you written up trying to put false complaints when it comes to your landlord so that you can get kicked out or whatever the hell somebody somebody here just they did too much this is what it feel like you're de you dealt with somebody or a group of people that did too much and they all did too much because they're fucking miserable and they're bored in their lives it says they like others to be miserable too so they can feel better about themselves confirmation show we got a blocked crown chakra it says issues okay it says divine connections um, so someone here was trying to make uh, make problems for you when it comes to you connecting to the most high you receiving some form of um, Messages if you're a messenger Trying to stop you from being enlightened to something so that you wouldn't see something clearly. Okay Trying to mess up your wisdom your choices in life because somebody here knows that's why you're on you're on the divine path. Someone here was trying to mess up your ability to see something clearly so that you can go off your path, your destined path. We have they can't stand to see you shine. Someone here can't stand to see you shine. Stop watching. Stop watching. That's what you tell them. Stop watching. Tell them to leave you the fuck alone. Like I don't understand. People this is so they, I can't make sense to someone. I can't make sense of someone who does not who does not think logically. So I don't care. I don't care anymore. It says Mercury retrograde. So someone here is trying to create some sort of delays for you, whether it's in communication or transformation transportation. Maybe someone here is trying to send some sort of negative energy to your vehicle if you have one, or they're just trying to stop you from making or taking circuit certain actions to to just move forward in life in general like say you're working on a project someone here is trying to get you to like feel like you don't want to work on the project so it could be delayed or somebody here is trying to get you to like just not make certain choices to where you will see progress in your life we have your closest friends hold grudges against you so you have some close friends here who are, who are um, holding grudges against you they don't they're trying to block your crown chakra too they're jealous if you have spiritual gifts you got people around you that are jealous of your spiritual gifts that's basically what it is and they're trying to take it away somehow. We have low self-esteem. It says their envy and inferior towards you stems from deep-rooted childhood wounds. So these people need to heal themselves. That's what's going on, okay? And then we have judging your spiritual or religious choices. That's what these people are doing. They're judging you. But at the same time, they're jealous of your ability and your spiritual knowledge and all, all different types of things. Like these people are just they're just sad. They're sad people, okay? says you already know who this person is tap into your intuition i feel like for a lot of y'all you already know who this closest friend is who holds a grudge against you for a lot of y'all um you already know who this person is who's miserable who's been trying to who's been talking shit about your spirituality or whatever you believe okay someone here's trying to get you to be sick says cause you causes you to have um flu symptoms fever chills head colds congestion diarrhea <laughs> coughing maybe this is what this person is going through maybe they coughing a lot maybe they having the diarrhea you know <laughs> i can't we have stalkers says spying on your social media so if you have a social media baby best believe this person's eyes is glued to your fucking shit 
looking at you like this. Oh, oh, what are they doing next? <laughs> what does that street sign say behind them? What's the cross streets? <laughs> How can I... <laughs> You're dealing with a psycho, bro. Like, for real. It's not funny. It really isn't. I'm dealing with the same shit. I understand. But uh, there's nothing else you can do but laugh. What are you supposed to do? Sit there and shake and be scared? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. So you need to practice a return to sender ritual. Okay. Listen, you're highly protected. There's nothing for you to fear. This is just a mere mortal. Who cares about this person? Tell me more, spirit. Who does stalker that they need to be careful of that doesn't like their shine? This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the roost. They could be stalking your social media. They hate your shine. Um, their childhood wounds need to be worked on. We have fleeting. This person, or, these, or that's your Chinese zodiac sign. Flip where need to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's this person who's stalking? This is a karmic, whoever they are. This is a very karmic individual. This person could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a co-worker. Okay, they don't like your shine. They're stalking you. They have low self-esteem. We have Gemini. They could be lying and making rumors up about, about you. We have Gemini. This person could be a Gemini as well. Okay, this person could be a false flame of yours. Or they have connection to your false flame. Or all of the above. We have Virgi. This person could be a Virgo who hates your shine. Stalking your social media. This could be individuals that you had a long-term relationship with. Or you just had relationships with them in general. Okay, I feel like this is a, like people from your past that um, that are just miserable with their lives, right? This could be old co-workers. This could be um, friends that you no longer vibe with, that you walked away from, or just time separated y'all. Or um, this could be like family members you just don't, aren't, you're not in contact with, or whatever it is. These are people here who are mad with themselves and their life. And they see you on social media doing whatever you do, whatever you post. And they just don't like that you're happy. Or that you look happy. Or that you're smiling. Or that you look healthy. Or that... I don't know. But they don't like it. We got Libra. This person could be a Libra. Or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Or this just could represent Libra as in relationships. These are people that you had relationships with. Okay? Maybe you're about to see these people's true colors. About how they really felt about you all along. Child. There's a lot of talk going around about your health. Maybe someone's saying you have an STD. I don't know. Who knows? Or someone's saying something about your mental health. Maybe someone's going around saying you have a mental problem. You're you're crazy or something. All right. Maybe you're gonna find out about this. Maybe that's part of the rumors or lies. Um. Maybe someone's going around saying like you uh, you lied about something or you lied to them or you did them wrong or something like this. Or you're doing black magic on them. Something like that. You just got a lot of people just in their feelings, okay? You're triggering a lot of people, I guess. I don't, I don't, by just being you. But, you know, maybe that's what, you know, was meant to happen. What kind of good things can my Aries expect? Spirit. What kind of good things can my Aries expect in the future? What kind of good things can my Aries expect in the near future, Spirit? What kind of positive things? Okay, Aries. You're protected. That's what you need to know. We got the Holy Bible out here. You are protected. Some of you, maybe you need to open Psalms and read something from there. Or Isaiah. somewhere you need to read the bible or read some sort of uh scriptures that bring you comfort okay the bible tell me more spirit or whatever else you believe in okay not your mama not your daddy we got harp yeah we got hope authentic knows oneself disconnect from conflict peace new friends live in harmony this is what you got coming in you will have people that you can trust enter your life. Family, friends, or maybe you're going to create that own family. I don't know what you're going to do, depending on what you got going on, okay? Um, 
a new partner, you will be getting peace. You will be, in, be living a life of tranquility. You will live in harmony. The divine is making sure of it. It is being protected. Okay? It is being protected. Do not lose hope. Continue being true to you. Continue being authentic. Okay? The number 7 is very significant. 77 could be significant or 777. Okay? Yeah, there's a need for you to be transparent. So maybe this is a this is about you. Excuse me, Aries. Maybe you need to um speak up about something or maybe you are going to be put in a situation where you know you're gonna have to be in the same courtroom with this individual or individuals and maybe you need to speak your truth when that happens okay it says be transparent and outspoken maybe maybe that's part of you being brave um yeah your hard work is about to pay off Continue being confident in what you got going on. And you're someone who's very creative and you are an original. Maybe someone trying to copy off your ass. And you're going to have to take them to court, child. I don't know. Tell me more, spirit. What the hell going on? Yeah, something here about hiding yourself from people. You need to stop doing that shit. It says hiding yourself from others. Greed and temptation. Scandals. Uh, stinginess. Squat. Squat. Squander. Spin thief. Thief. What? I don't know. Ciao. Maybe there's a need for you to stop hiding yourself from others. Okay. We have passionate career opportunities. It says deep love and future commitment. Love, romance, passion, and partner. Yeah, maybe there's a need for you to be, you know, going out there. I don't know. You got some love coming in. This is a divine love. This is what you got coming up. You got hope. You got joy. You got celebrations. You have freedom. You're about to be shedding a burden here. And that burden could be you feeling like you always have to hide yourself from others. Or you have to like be careful of who you allow in your energy. Because you don't know who's a demon and who not. I understand Okay, um, yeah, you're going to be able to be making loving memories with people, okay, but right now, you already, I feel like whoever you are, whoever's watching this, if you, you know, you're watching to this point and things are resonating, you already know who you need to avoid and who you don't need to, okay, at, at, I'm pretty sure you know, okay. So if you have people from your past that you know have strange vibes, don't let them back into your life, okay? Just wait for the divine to send you these people, like these, these actual trustworthy people, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What they need to hear at this time today, high is good. We have the recruiting haters. So you have someone out here recruiting haters against you. It needs to be, you know, your once closest friends who are doing this. They're recruiting more haters. Your stalker out here could be recruiting more haters. Um, somebody in your family. Somebody here who doesn't like your religious or spiritual choices. And whoever else is miserable as fuck. All right, we got dark entities are using these people to work against you. Like I said, you don't know who who got that demon in them and who don't. I get it. I understand. But you need to understand that this isn't going to, you're not going to be having to deal with this for much longer. Okay? Because that cycle is over. And that's why these, these people is acting wild. That's why they're acting so wild. Because they know the cycle's almost over. That's why they're getting all, <sighs> thirsty for your energy we have remote viewing looking into your life with their mind so this is what somebody could be doing they're spiritually spying on you don't worry they'll get karma for that don't worry about it don't worry about it okay maybe that's how someone's listening in on you or something like that or listening to what you have to say i don't know maybe they're doing it by remote viewing it says they will play victim once they know they're losing so someone here is going to be playing the victim of course Okay, because they're going to be losing. And then we have keep protection pouch. Keep a protection pouch on you. Okay. Um, or you could just carry around like an obsidian crystal, um, black tourmaline. You can carry around some pyrite. 
You can carry around some amethyst. Lapis lazuli. You can carry around a lot of things. Says, um, or just get those bracelets. Get, get gemstones. Those gemstone bracelets. It says, they talk about you behind their back. Or they talk about, they talk about you behind your back. And it says they mock you when they feel jealousy towards you. So someone here could be mocking you, okay? And the only reason they're doing this, trying to make fun of you, blah, blah, blah. It's because they're jealous. That's all. And they don't know who they are, but you do. And you're proud of it. And you accept it. And someone else just doesn't understand that. Oh, well. It says causing you to miss opportunities and um, spreading rumors about you. Blah, 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 blah. Who out here recruiting haters is my question. This could be a soulmate of yours, so a family member or a, an ex or a friend. Who recruiting haters? Someone here who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat could be out here recruiting haters against you. Who out here recruiting haters, Spirit? A Taurus out here could be recruiting haters. A feminine energy out here could be recruiting haters. Who out here recruiting haters? This person could be um, an ex of yours. Who out here recruiting haters? This could be a monkey out here. Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey doing this. Chinese zodiac sign of the dog. Who out here are recruiting haters? Fleeting. This is someone here who loves you today, hates it tomorrow. Who out here recruiting haters? This could be a Sagittarius that's out here re recruiting haters. We have New Connection. We have Dragon. Okay. And we have Gemini at the bottom of the deck. So this is just like someone here talking a lot trying to stop new connections you having new connections they don't want you being free out here somebody wants you to stay connected in karmic connections whether it's with them or some other karmic someone just doesn't want you to be happy in a relationship or in a marriage as well someone here could be recruiting a haters because they don't want you maybe someone's jealous of the money that you make or if you're already in a relationship, they're jealous of your relationship, your home life, your marriage, if you're married. Whatever they're doing is not working. So they can keep trying, I guess. That's what it looked like to me, Aries. That's what it looked like to me. What else? What else do my Aries need to hear? Let's do... What do they need to hear, Spirit? What do my Aries need to hear at this time? What do my Aries need to hear right now for the highest good? We have June. It says, that's what I do. I grow stuff and I know things. So... For some of y'all, you could have a garden or something like this. Maybe you grow a lot of fruits or vegetables or herbs or something. Or maybe that's what <clears throat> you're thinking about doing. And this is your green light. It says, I don't care what day it is. It's early. I'm grumpy. I want coffee this week. Something is going to happen this week. The beginning of this week. What did I, what did I say? Something's going to be happening here. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you're going to be tired. Maybe that's why you're going to need a lot of coffee. Who knows? We have fluff you. <laughs> it says fluff you. It says you fluff and fluff next day. So maybe you're going to someone. someone <laughs> maybe somebody tomorrow is going to piss you off. I don't know. What's this? It says I do what I want in a few days. Okay, so I don't know what's going to be going on, Aries. But someone here going to piss you off, I guess. Maybe you're going to find out some sort of truth about somebody. And it, it's, it's probably going to want you to, to sock someone in the throat, child. I don't know. Tell me more. What else they need here? We have get naked before sleep, child. No, don't do this anymore. Don't do this anymore for now. Because someone here is remote viewing you, child. <laughs> you, can't. you can if you want to. It doesn't matter. It says, and she lived happily ever after. Stop waiting. So, yeah, someone here is wanting. Someone here keeps thinking that, like. There's still a possibility that you two could be together, but you could be sitting here like, stop waiting for me. I'm moving on or I've already moved on, depending on who's watching and what you're going, what you got going on in your life. But um, maybe you're about to meet somebody here this week and somebody here going to be real unhappy. But 
you gonna be happy it says you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have the answer is yes child whatever this person did they gave you no other choice but to be or to get stronger they left you no other choice so i don't know what they expect um you you decided to say yes to yourself and maybe this is another reason why somebody wants to you know tell you fluff you you know oh well <laughs> so for some of y'all this could be you maybe you gonna get pissed off i don't know but um if something does piss you off try to transmute it into like a creative outlet okay something about november maybe you're gonna find out something in november that's gonna piss you off i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh you're gonna want to choke someone <laughs> You're gonna wanna choke someone. Let's get out the shells. Just woo saw. You gotta woo saw. Cause people out here be trying it. Okay, this is gonna be loud. Someone here could be 43, 37, they could be born in 1971, and, uh, 1979, 73, 74. Someone here could be a master number 11. Someone here could be a life path 5. Something here about 911 is significant. Something here could be urgent. Someone here could be born in 75. Someone here could be 53, 54, 57, 51, 59. Someone here could be 55. Someone here could be 36, 31, 34, 35, 39. Someone here could be 41, 45, 47, 49. Someone here could be born in 1999. We got 555 out here. Again. So expect the under expect the unexpected. Ciao. Mmm. What else? Okay, let's get into it. Something big is gonna happen. We got the word big out here. Oh, another number one. So one 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 could be significant for some of you as well. You guys could be seeing that number a lot. Yeah. Someone here could be Jewish. You don't have to be. This could be you or someone else. Something here about the month of May is very significant. Big May. I don't know. Mm. Oh, there's your, uh, Mari something about Mari someone's name could be Mari or there's going to be some sort of big reveal maybe some sort of like you know like on the Mari show he takes out those test results and it like the truth comes out like if someone is really the father of the child or ex or whatever right Maybe someone's going to find out that, you know, they're not the fathers of a child or someone's going to find out that, you know, you really don't have some form of disease that they were saying you have or the or the truth in general. Someone's going to find out the truth in general. OK, it's going to be written down on paper. The truth. OK. Someone's name could be Mary. Someone's name could be Barbara. Someone's name is Myron. Someone's name is Brian. Someone's name is Matt. Someone's name is Donald.
Someone's name is Manny. Liam. Kim. Naomi. Mia. Something about a group of women is of significance. Someone here could live in downtown LA. Something about pica. Isn't that like a disease? Someone's name is Bree. Brianne. squirrels someone's name could be Tia someone could drive a Kia okay something here about domestic violence is of significance something here about a mob there could have been a whole mob coming up against you okay Someone's name is Nika. Somebody here about a gun is significant. Someone here about to get burned. Or somebody here could have gotten burned and then they blamed you for why they got burned or they got burned for or something. That's what it looked like to me. Um Someone's name is Duran. Someone's name is Kura. Someone's name could be Todd. Someone here could be Syrian. Someone here could drive a van. Someone's name is Kurt. Someone's name could be Bert. Something about the movie Mulan could be significant. Something here is about to go viral. Viral. Something here is about to go viral. Something here about the town. Maybe you're, someone's about to go viral in the town that they live in. Maryland could be significant. Someone here could be a student. Okay. Or you guys could be dealing with a stud or something. A woman who dresses like a man or something like that. A masculine man or a woman. Divine masculine. Something about your divine masculine is significant. Someone's name is Bob or Bobby or Robert. Someone's name is Judy. Hudson. Something here about Hudson. Someone's last name could be Hudson or something here about the Hudson River. Trudy. Someone's name could be Trudy or Rudy. Something about Paris is significant. Someone here could live in Paris or something here about a trip to Paris. Someone's name could be Vaughn. Someone could work in the stock markets or something like that with the Dow. Something about Pizza Hut is significant. Vermont is significant. Malika, someone's name could be Malika or Malik. 
Someone's name could be Cat or Kathy. Someone's name is Darius. Darius. Something about Saturday is significant. We got the word joy out here. Something here could be moving really slow. Something about someone's birthday. Why does this keep coming out, bro? Something about someone's birthday. I don't know whose birthday coming up. I don't know what's up with this birthday, but something about somebody's birthday. Happy birthday? I mean, it, we're not in airy season, so I don't know. Happy birthday, I guess. I don't know. Or, so, or, or somebody here is about to celebrate someone's birthday here soon. We have Wilson. Someone's name could be Wilson. You guys could be seeing a lot of bats. Something here about Montana is significant. Something here about the ATM is significant. Or maybe someone's looking at you like an ATM. Someone's name is Ruth. Someone here could be a doctor. Someone here could be sad. Someone's going AWOL. Or maybe you're going to hear about someone going AWOL. Maybe that's going to go viral in your town or your city or something. Of someone going AWOL. I'm going to end it. End it. I'm hungry. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear at this time for day highest good? What do my Aries need to hear right now for their highest good regarding this situation? We have 0404. Slow down. Some of you need to slow down, I guess. It says, pay close attention to the people in your life, your surroundings, and your physical health. Don't freak out. It's just a warning to be careful and awake to avoid any further issues. Communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries. Yeah, you need to keep boundaries from certain people, okay? Because you, you guys could have people around you that are trying to, like, dominate you or have power over you. Something here about a power struggle, okay? You guys could be dealing with people who have, like, low vibrations or they're, they're operating out of a low vibration, wanting to have authority over you or trying to force you to do something you don't want to do. These can be people that you are wrapping up karmic cycles with. We have 1919 out here. It says cycles. It says karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that you don't repeat in the future and make some space for your new experiences. Okay, so you got new experiences coming up. You're, I feel like a lot of these new experiences have to do with like you creating new relationships, new connections with people. Your new beginning is protected. We have 444. Okay, it says get ready for the good things you have been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going towards your ambitions and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances and resources to make things happen. You got this. You have protected, baby. You got this. Beautiful. This is going to be the end of your reading. Okay. Ooh, and then we got 11-11 at the bottom of the day. You got a wish coming true, baby boo. It says, you're in a lucky, you are in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news and experience new opportunities or an exciting a coincidence or acquaintance. It says, you will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. Didn't I say that earlier? <laughs> you got this. Go out there and live your life, baby boo. All right, Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.